so it's been three years since I had my hernia surgery. I made a video on it. I had an inguinal mess surgery and you know, it kind of blew up, which was crazy. It was only a few weeks post the surgery. So obviously saw how he's doing in the recovery process. Since then, a lot of people have said, you know, what's going on, Josh? How are you feeling? What can you do? What can't you do? Especially people that are really worried that they're never gonna be able to lift the same, perform the same in the gym, or just live pain free. So I wanna go ahead and preface this by saying this is just my experience. I'm just gonna tell you what happened with me. Um, you know, complications can happen, things happen. Most surgeries are successful and there's not gonna be anything wild. And you're probably gonna have a similar situation to me. So I figured making this video would be helpful just like making the last video was helpful. You know, if you haven't seen the other one, I recommend you watch it. It was kind of my thoughts of like, you know, what was the surgery? Is it gonna be scary? Is it gonna be painful? How's it gonna affect me? Like what to expect? Cause there wasn't a lot of content out about that. And I noticed there's also not a lot of content about this and like, I'm not necessarily like an inguinal hernia expert. I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a doctor. You know, I'm a fitness guy, I'm an online fitness coach. And if that's something you're interested in, definitely check out this channel. Tons of great content, lots of forum videos, lots of fun. And if you wanna start your transformation, definitely hit me up. But in terms of the hernia, I'm gonna answer some of the questions and my personal experience. So first things first, had the surgery, went the mesh route, um, just one side, not both sides. And you know, I started the recovery process. I made the video, I was feeling good, which was totally awesome. It just went better and better from there. I had a really successful recovery. And a lot of people ask, you know, how soon can you lift? How soon can you do all this? Will I never be able to lift again? Will I not be able to lift for two years? It's very different surgeon to surgeon. So you have to consult your surgeon. But one thing I would advise is finding a surgeon that is supportive and realistic. To me, I don't wanna be operated by someone who says I'll never be able to work out again. That's unrealistic. Or someone who says I need to wait two years. I don't think that's someone I necessarily wanna deal with myself. And that's why I actually chose to kind of get like, I went the private route with the doctor. I didn't pay for anything. I'm from Canada, it's different, but that's what I chose to do over going to a set hernia hospital just because someone in my family didn't have the best experience. But that was just my situation. Once again, I've heard a million other people say they're great, but you want to be comfortable with the choice you make. And I think that is a big thing. And that's where I felt great because I love my surgeon. You know, he was saying, man, you're jacked. It's crazy. Even after the surgery, he was saying like, I've never seen someone with such perfect, like, you know, abdominal walls. He's like, no fat just muscle it was super easy and I thought that was really cool and I asked him when can I get back to lifting and he's like three to four weeks you can start to introduce it and be careful and this is what he told me I'm not saying this is what everyone should go do and that's what I did I got back into it I was intelligent with it and I continued onward you know strength started coming back and then I said you know what I'm not broken I want to heal I want to do better I want to keep growing I want to continue to develop and like evolve in my journey because that's what I'm all about and I actually ended up hitting some all-time PRs right here on the screen this is a 500 185 pound squat this is a six plate squat post surgery so it shows you what can be done i was also hitting like you know 585 600 pound deadlifts which was super cool you know hitting some big benches so case in point i was out there lifting heavy i was not restricting myself from any movements the only movement i don't do because of the surgery because i've heard mixed things is a russian twist weighted Personally, I just avoid them because it does make sense you're kind of rotating against yourself and I could see how that could create some issues. I've also heard mixed things about bent over single arm rows causing a lot of strain on that inguinal area. So those are two movements I do avoid. Once again, you could see how they feel with you, but I've just made that choice and I found effective substitutions. But regardless, you know, on the flip side, one thing I've really made a point to do is stay strong in my compounds, really work on rebuilding my core. And to this day, I do more lower ab training than anything else. So if you're not familiar with the anatomy of abdominals, you have three sections in your abs. You have obliques, kind of your rectus abdominis, and then you can kind of, well, more so too, but you have your lower ab area, right? Like in terms of training. So for me, anything where you're lifting up your legs has been something I put a lot of time and effort into because that's what's a little bit harder for me. I still feel a little bit sore because obviously they're cutting through you to perform that surgery. So it did throw me off a bit and I feel like I don't have that full level of strength I did, but I've worked really hard to build up to it. You know, I'm really close and I'm very confident with more training, more consistency, I'll blast right through that. So I've been totally fine there. Other questions I've got are, do I have pain day-to-day -day life? None at all, I have no burning, nothing. I'm not prevented from doing any movements. Anything I want to do, I go up there and do it. The only times I'm kind of careful is like when I'm coughing or something is causing a lot of pain in that area because coughing is really hard. You, you'll hear very often that's how people get hernias. You know, it can be like the straw that breaks the camel's back. So that is where I'm careful and I'll kind of like hold against that position myself. But case in point, I've healed
from it. I took a positive approach. I said, this is just one thing that happened. It's not me. It's not the end of my world. It's a minor surgery. It's a minor surgery for you if you're having it, right? You just need to take what it is, move on and start that recovery process, right? Really focus on your healing and really focus to get back. What people do and the mistake they make is they get injured and then they baby that area, right? They're very careful. They never use it. And you never build that adaptable scar tissue to get back into life, to get back into rhythm, get back in the groove. So that's why you want to really approach this from that kind of outlook. And you know, if you're someone who wants to invest in your fitness and this was just a fitting video, maybe this is your calling, check out my website down below. You can learn more about what I do, online fitness coaching. I'm here to optimize your nutrition, your training, as well as your accountability and lifestyle. And if you're in the same situation, I can definitely guide you through that. I'm not a doctor and I'm here to help you do the best with your fitness. Definitely consult with your surgeon, but I hope this was really effective and informative for everyone. This is my experience you know if there's any other questions you can put them in the comments down below i'd be more than happy to answer them but this isn't the end of the world if you're going to a surgery or you've just had and you felt weak you will get back there you might have to work for it might be a little bit of uh, effort and energy but you can do it stay strong thank you so much for watching if this was helpful smash that like button subscribe drop a comment you got this get out there and crush it